Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Quasar, and we're back with another movie car episode. Today is going to be a little bit special. Gabriel Barbour. Barbour? I hope I said your name right. Gabriel asked for a pink Cadillac, so I happen to have one laying in one of the parking levels. Uh, so I drug it in here, it has 117,000 miles on it. So if this is the movie car we're going to do, I had to look up the movie The Pink Cadillac because I was sure I knew of it. I wasn't sure of the movie itself. Uh, so I had to look it up. And yes, I did see this movie at one point. So if you are a Clint Eastwood fan by any means, um, this is one of those movies that I, I, I don't know. You may want to see. I, I think it's fun just because Bernadette Peters is in it. Bernadette Peters is actually, in my opinion, a hoot. She's, uh, she's cute as a button, and uh, I don't know. I, I just think she's, I, th I thought, you know, growing up, I thought she was cool. Um, and Clint Eastwood, I mean, he was, you know, total baddie in the day, right? This green Cadillac just does not, just doesn't doesn't look well with green I'm getting some of the key parts here just tinkering around with it the engine is an overhead v8 of course that's the only engine that's the one that goes in it um, it has pretty much a very clean interior um, let's take the steering wheel out of it let's jump over here into the interior shops and see what we can find for it uh, oh no, we don't want to go there. We want to go to the interior shop. What am I thinking? Um, well, while we're here, Cad L A C Cadillac, yeah, Cadillac. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay. Um, so none of those, none of those. Not the Hearsts. So we have a Ghostbuster one too. So we've got that one, and we've got the. Uh, the fleet side one, definitely. Um, wow. Okay, so here we are down here. These are, yeah. This is what we need down here. We need all these pieces because we don't have anything in this car. Trunk. Okay, I think that's. Good. All right. So in the movie, they say it was a uh, 59, I think it said. I thought I read it was a 59. Man, I, I, this doesn't look like a 59 to me. This looks like it's in the 60s era to me. So I don't get that at all. But that's all right. I mean... It, it is what it is, I guess. These are uh, some huge hoods on these things, though. Holy smokes. Just, it's just crazy, crazy size of this. Okay, so let's pop the hood up on that. Do we got a mirror? Yeah, I got a mirror there. If I get a mirror on this side. Probably not. All right, uh, so, <laughs> to jump back into where I was going to go in the first place. Let's jump into the interior shop, shall we? It's a very light gray interior. We want to keep it as light gray as possible. I was hoping these would stay. I needed short seats that were all gray, and we don't have that option, figures. Ah, uh, drat. Red dot. We need some more seat options. Seat options, please. Seat options. Okay, I guess I have to go with those. Now for the steering wheel, we're going to go down here and look for something that is very old. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. Uh, come on. You're in here somewhere. This one right here. Well, that's a Dodge. I mean, I could be. I could, do, you could use that one. Or we could use steering wheel 15. 
Oh, there we go. That's the one I wanted. Is that one right there? <laughs> All right. So we will go ahead and put the interior in here. Kind of done this a little backwards altogether, haven't I? Uh, it's cape steering wheel. Yep, we're gonna do the cape steering wheel. There we go. All right. So about the best I could do for a white-ish interior. Um, yeah. So, okay. So the Oh, I still have a window to install here. Okay, maybe did I, did I buy more than one or did I not put it in this one? I didn't put it in this one. That's what the case is. All right. Uh, all right, I think with this one, I think we're going to do this completely different this time around. I think I'm going to build this one completely stock. Yeah. Let's build it completely stock. You know, typically I, I, I get these engines and I, you know, boost the horsepower as much as possible. But this time around we're going to go all stock, baby. Let's just we're going to switch it up a little bit and just go all stock. So let's jump in here. And go ahead and build up the engine. Seeing as how we've already uh, did up the car itself already. Uh, we haven't done the suspension work yet, but we will get to it. All right. Uh, a alternator. All oh, this is going to be completely stock. This is going to be really, this is going to be a challenge for me, honestly. Because, well, because I, I'm used to, you know, doing it a certain way so now I'm gonna have to uh, do, a complete, do it this way it's gonna be different for me just it just is uh, but I think for this Cadillac being a classic that it is it needs to stay stock so we are going to build it completely completely stock uh, four barrel carburetor here we go uh, clip A's and air filter clip B's. I need two of those for the distributor cap. Uh, crankshaft. Uh, we need three of those and just a regular overhead valve. Crankshaft. There we go. There we go for that too. Uh, engine block. Completely stock. This is, you know, this is a two of those heads. This is really strange for me because I'm wanting to jump all over the place. Um, my insides are just jumping like, okay, I have to get these parts, I have to get those parts. And I'm like, wait a minute, no, 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 no. This has got to be all completely stock. So, uh, fuel filter fuel pump I'll get that while I'm here uh, fuel tank I'll pick that up while I'm here because <laughs> you know I forget them you know I'll forget them engine coils no but I will need a coil a distributor cap uh, distributor distributor cap and rotor uh, wires for the V8 single carb intake this is really stretching me here I really want to throw some performance parts in here I'm actually jonesing a little bit uh, okay breathe breathing I'm breathing piston rings eight of you eight pistons you know how long it's been since I've built a car completely um, completely stock this this will be geez a first in a long time first in a long time uh, okay so for the belt Look, even the spark plugs are getting, even the spark plugs are getting the treatment. Oh my goodness. Uh, 
I'm looking here. I'm looking. I need to concentrate on this because I'm thinking about the, the the movie too. But okay, regular old water pump, water pump pulley, and I think that will be about it. I still need to get and flywheel. All right, as far as the engine is concerned, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, we have all the parts and pieces we need for the engine. All right, so, pink Cadillac, Clint Eastwood, Bernadette Peters. Uh, Bernadette Peters is just a cutie in this. I, I, I don't know what else. And like I said, well, growing up, I, I thought she was a cutie anyway. Uh, but Clint Eastwood is this, they call him a skip tracer. So what is a skip tracer? I guess... It's one of those person, you know, you have your bail bondsmans, right? So if you if bail bondsman gives you money to get out of jail and you skip uh, skip out on him, then he's like a bounty hunter. Bad, basically, they call him a skip tracer, but I guess it's like a bounty hunter, right? So Clint Eastwood is a bounty hunter, and he's going after Bernadette Peters because Bernadette Peters um, was uh, r arrested because her husband... Um, had some counterfeit money or something and she took off with his with his cars pink Cadillac well this pink Cadillac has all the all this money in it and it's all uh, counterfeit money so there you go that's pretty much the gist of it not only is her you know her husband trying to find her and track her down but you know he's got goons after him that want the money as well so you've got people going after her, um, the ex-husband or the husband going after her, and then you have Clint Eastwood that goes going after her because she skipped, she skipped out on the uh, Bales bondsman, right? So it's it's kind of a funny one of those per, you know everybody's pursuing another person uh, type thing, and this poor Cadillac gets uh, gets the brunt of a lot of stuff. Probably not one of Clint Eastwood's best performances. You know, I, when, when you think of Clint Eastwood, I think I think of westerns myself. I think of uh, uh, you know the good, the bad, the ugly, all the old classic Clint Eastwood movies is what I think of as Clint Eastwood. Or um, Every Which Way But Loose as another um, example. I want to say I'd have to look it up. I think it was in a movie called Deadpool. Now, now I know I know what you're thinking. Oh no! What do you mean, Deadpool? It was I think it was called Deadpool, and he was a detective trying to track down some murders, and he gets to the point in the movie where he thinks it's himself doing the murders. He doesn't know, so I think it. I, I want to say that was Deadpool. If you guys remember, the, if you're a good, if you're a Clint Eastwood fan, let me know if I'm right or not. I I don't know. I don't really have time to look it up right now, but. I've got my hands kind of knee-deep in this engine right now. But, uh, yeah, Gabriel, you wanted a pink Cadillac, and I am delivering. I am delivering. Try to do what I can. Sometimes things fall right into place, such as this one, for you. So, you got extremely lucky with this one. I did not. Oh, I did get an oil filter. Um, because, you know, this is... I thought I had one. I actually I thought what I had was the uh, not the fleet. I think it was maybe the Fleetwood, the, the an older one. Um, that's the one I thought I had in the uh, parking levels. And when I did the the movie car uh, video, after I cut it off at the end, I went into the last couple of. Uh, levels that I had now I've said oh there I, I, I got one so I towed it over here into the garage towed it but brought it over here to the garage set it up on the left and uh, there Gabriel was have you found a pink Cadillac yet in the comment section of that uh, movie car parking level video I hope you guys enjoyed that I was uh, it was it was a lot of fun. It kind of brought back a lot of stuff for me as I was going through what uh, you know seeing the cars. 
it's amazing how many videos I've done to be honest with you I time goes so by so fast and it's it's ridiculous to me anyway how quickly they add up like my summer car those my summer car videos I've got over a hundred videos right on Steam alone I have over 400 videos on Steam 400 videos under my name don't believe me check it out go to hers quasar on Steam subscribe to me friend me hey I'm there for you all right I'll help you out anything I can do for you so you know it, it's amazing that it's gone this far so quickly and I am on the verge of hitting 1,000 subscribers and that's like my my first goal was to hit 500 I did that and it was 750 now it is to hit 1,000 after 1,000 you know I've had uh, someone ask me well what's your gonna be your goal after 1,000 and I said well you know 1500 would be nice and I would hope that I can keep an audience uh, keep an audience's attention long enough to keep 1500 people uh, 1500 in a global mil billions of people hey you know uh, I hope so I mean I hope it's uh, entertaining enough for you guys and I definitely appreciate you stopping by hanging out and I love reading the comments so you know put some comments down there if anything you know subscribe to my channel you know kick off and look at watch a few videos throw a few comments down there and let's chat one of the best things about getting a thousand subscribers is that I get a almost like a, a forum type uh, tab on here to where I can post things and I think I can interact more with the community and that's what I would really like um, so but you know other than that the undead plague undead plague gaming community look at, in the description down below check out the link there's a bunch of us that do uh, streaming videos uh, content for YouTube um, and we stream you know check it us check us out there's a there's a few of us there uh, would love to have you come by and take a look see what you think all right completely stock engine in this bad boy holy cow I never thought I'd see the day let's put some oil on this because I always have a tendency to lose out on that All right, we've got that. We've got that. We're putting her in the air. What spare pieces do we have? We have all the pieces that we need. Uh, let us grab. Want to grab a drive shaft? Uh, I need a regular transmission. Got the starter, so that's good. Uh, what do we have back here? We have these vintage white wall A's. These are going to be perfect. Uh, what I'm taking off is what I'm putting on. So this is perfect. Hopefully I can repair some of this stuff and put it back on. Oh, where's the nuts at? There we go. There we go, there we go. If you hear the... Uh, Here's something in the background. It's only the the vent, the ventilation system in my hotel. Yes, I am traveling around, and whenever I travel, my the desk that they, they give you the working desk area, and whenever you I have that, it's sitting right next to the vent, right? It's right next to the vent, so it's like it's freaking loud. It can be loud. And I've already described this movie, Pink Cadillac. It's almost like a rom-com, I guess. It would be more like a rom-com because I think he starts falling. I, I don't remember the movie entirely, but uh, I believe he starts falling for Bernadette Peters. And, I mean, she's a cutie. I mean, I know I've said it a couple times, but... Oh, good. She got this squeaky little little girl voice, too. All right. What can we repair? 
Let's repair everything. Just repair everything and be, uh, be good with it. And I don't have to buy anything except for wheels and tires. How about that? Uh, brakes. Oh, man. Now, with the new game, the 2021, um, I'm hoping that you can repair the brake drums with the uh, brake lathe. That would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. But uh, we need a couple of drums. Uh, one plate, a whole drive axle, housing. Uh, of course, the bushings are shot. The wheel hub is shot. So is the drive axle. Okay. As for the wheels, what do we have? These are 15-inch wheels. 270s. Now these aren't painted, so let's see. How do I want to do this? Maybe I'll just keep them. I'll keep them stock. So champion rims, 15, 205, 70s. So uh, uh, chap, cows. Yep, yeah, champion. Uh, go ahead, and get four of those at 15. And I believe the tires were the vintage A. Uh, we're going to get four of those, 15. I think it was two, uh, that was 70. Two of five, I think it was. Two of five seventy. So, got those. Let's double check that. And two of five seventies. Yes, they were. Let's go ahead and start mounting these bad boys up. That is a white. Yeah. Is that gonna work on there, or should I go? Are these vintage A tires? No, I don't want to. For some reason, they look different. Yeah. Vintage tire A. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's, that's what it, it is what it is, I guess. I, I didn't think so, but okay. Let's go ahead and get those all roughed in. We've got... I did not go to the store yet and pick up all my parts and pieces parts that I need for this thing, did I? No, I did not. So let's go to shopping list. Brakes for the drums. Which isn't really too bad for the drums. I mean, uh, let's see. Only need one plate. So that's not too bad. Uh, leave spring rear drive axle. The whole axle being bad. It's kind of, kind of horrible. Uh, two shock absorber B's. Small rubber bushings. Solid drive axle. And we'll hope for. So not only was this a movie. I mean, there's like two songs. I, I want to say uh, Natalie Cole had a, had a pink Cadillac song. Bruce Springsteen had a pink Cadillac song. Uh, I mean... Elvis owned a pink Cadillac. I mean, pink Cadillacs are just... I don't know. Why is it a thing? I guess is what I have to ask. Why are pink Cadillacs even a thing? I have no idea. Seems to me it's a little strange. But... I mean, usually when you see pink cars, they are... Uh, Mary Kay cosmetic cars. These are cars that are won by people who sold enough Mary Kay products, you know, the whole pyramid scheme thing. Um, but, you know, sold enough crap to to give themselves a car. And I don't know how much stuff you have to sell or what kind of a, you know, how many people you have to have under you to be able to win a car. But jeez. It's got to be a lot. Let's grab that wheel off. Uh, 
I was trying to look at the exhaust system on here too, making sure I had that right. Alrighty. So what does Bruce Springsteen says? Uh, yeah, it's a pink Cadillac cruising down the street. Yeah. I mean, come on. I don't know. I mean, it's quite funny that Clint Eastwood would be driving a pink Cadillac. He was such a, you know, at the time, he was such a manly man. I think this movie came out in like 1989, right? So, you know, here he is. He's a manly man. And he's driving a pink Cadillac. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go up underneath here. Let's go ahead and set the transmission. And starter. Drive shaft. You know what? This car does not have a fuel tank. This caddy doesn't have a fuel tank. I may have to fix that later. Holy smokes, I just realized it. Well, we need pipe A's. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our exhaust pipes. We're going to need uh, two of the A's, two mids, and two rears. Okay. So for the most part, this car will be all set up, ready to go, right off the bat here. Alright, cool. No fuel tank. I am surprised this doesn't have a fuel tank. I think that, I believe this is a... Uh, is this a lit car? Um, let me check real quick. I am correct. It is a lit car. Alright, we got most of that going. Um, what's in our inventory here? Can I sell off some of this crap? Sell parts. Uh, I cleaned out. Well, I don't, guess I don't need a fuel tank or fuel pump for this, do I? Don't need the wheels and tires, so we will go ahead and mount these balances up real quick. Um, while I'm doing that, I might as well jump in here and get some suspension parts because I know I'm going to need two of those, two of those, and two of those. So, let me grab those. Okay, get that all straightened out. So we'll start turning down the front end here. So does the Chapman wheels look alright on it? Yeah, the Chapman wheels look fine on it. Now these cars did not have disc brakes on the front. We had drum on the front. Just, just let me clarify that for you. I am so glad we went to disc brakes. They are so much easier to work on. Who agrees with me? Let's see here. Disconnect B-Links. See, it's kind of, I've kind of mixed everything up because I'm used to doing this and then doing the engine, so kind of gotten myself a little screwed up. Plus, you know, not doing any performance parts. That is really screwing me up.
So before I put this away in the parking level, I may give it a gas tank. <laughs> I didn't realize it didn't have a gas tank. And yes, I'd do it in the car editor. What, this car needs to be black with flames on it or something. Some baby moons. I don't think I have, uh, I don't think this thing's meant to have a livery on it, so. That would be kind of cool. Black with from yellow to orange and blue flames. I don't know why I think it would look cool, though. It's not like I've seen it like that anywhere. Okay, everything is done there. Let's repair what we can. I'm hearing a lot of stuff dying. That's fine. We've got... Let's make some springs up. Grab our front tires. Now, I didn't even notice. I imagine on this, it is a square sub. 205, 70, 15, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What do we got here? See, now these tires look different, right? These are these are B's. So why do I have A's on the back and B's on the front? Wait a minute. Lit, are you kidding me? Let's go B's. We're gonna go with a set of B's. So let's jump in here. Let's see what the difference is here. So the B's are like this huge thing right here. So let's get four of these already. 15, uh, 205, 70s. We're just gonna pick those up right now. We're just, we're just gonna go with the bees. Bees need to have big old white walls on them, you know what I mean? They, it deserves it. It requires it. It demands it. I thought it looked funny. Maybe I read it wrong. That's okay. We will get there. We will get there. Okay, so for the brakes, what do we got? Uh, oh, let's clear out my... Let's clear out my parts list here. Thank you. Alright. Um, do I need to separate? Yeah, we need to separate that one. Okay, so for our parts list, brakes, ventilated and pads, suspension, Need a cover, a knuckle. Ooh, I need a whole cross member. Holy cow. Uh, rubber bushing, we know by eight. With the bees, one upper suspension arm, two bearings, two wheel caps, okay. Whew. All right, now we're gonna put these together with the bees. There we go. I don't know, does that look like it's too much of a white wall? My god, am I an idiot or what? What am I doing here? Okay, let's try the C's. Let's get two of these. 15, 205, 70s. I'm wasting a whole lot of money on tires. Okay, so let's try this and let's go with a, it's a B wall. What about a C wall? That actually looks horrible. <laughs> All right. I'm going back to my original, my original setup. Okay. I am so sorry. This is, this is nuts. I, I, I think I like the, I like the A's better. The A's have it. We're going for the A's. Jeez. Ah, 
hang on. Okay guys, you're gonna just you're just gonna want to strangle me. I'm gonna go with the bees. <laughs> I cannot whatever this is my problem, I do not know. My god, what is my deal? Uh It needs to be a really wide white rim on it, and it needs to be a, I mean honestly it needs to have some, it needs to have some wheel showed at the end of it here, but I can't get that to happen. So yeah, we're just going to go with the bees. It's almost a full white wall on there, so that's that's good. Uh, the B. There we go. Um, jeez, going crazy, going around in circles here. Okay, so that should be okay. Got B white walls all the way around. I think I've took A's off the back and B's off the front. So now at least we have we have it all the way around. Ah. Okay, let's look at my inventory and see what I got now because I forgot. Yeah, I haven't shopped yet. Okay, so let's let's go do some shopping before I get myself totally screwed up okay been laid disc times two pads times two got it uh, front axle cover got it front steering knuckle C uh, check whole cross member E section jeez uh, sway bar B front wheel hub two inners two outers uh, rubber bushings times 12. Uh, B links. Upper suspension arm. Bearings and hubs. Got it. Got it, got it. Oops, let me grab that too while I'm here. Okay. Let us begin the rebuild process underneath this Cadillac. This is going to steer a whole lot better than before. Speaking of which, we've got a, a friend, uh, a, a neighbor down the street that has this old uh, Plymouth Valiant, right? And um, we just happen to be leaving the neighborhood at the same time. And my wife and I are in my Camaro, and she's watching ahead and watching this guy i mean the guy's probably in his late 60s early 70s or so and you can tell this car was probably has been his for a while right it's a four-door valiant i mean nothing nothing super super cool about it but it is kind of a cool looking car i mean it's just it's it's got the nice Plymouth wheels on it. It's it looks like it's been taken care of. You know, it doesn't. The exhaust doesn't smell. You know, how some of the older cars, the the exhaust smells real bad um, because it's just rich smelling. This one doesn't. So he seems like he's taking good care of it. But the uh, steering wheel is so big on it. My wife is like, oh my god. I mean, you're you're turning it all over the place and um, you're not going anywhere. And I'm like, yeah, because you know it doesn't have a it doesn't have a tight suspension. It's very it's it's very loose underneath there. 
And it reminded me, uh, I was at a car show where this guy had a Monte Carlo, and he had, uh, it was a 1972 Monte Carlo, he had put an entire uh, hot kiss um, suspension system underneath it. And he said it was it was unbelievable. It was like a difference between night and day. Once he had the uh, that suspension kit underneath of it, it was a totally rebuild underneath. He said the car cornered on a dime. You know, even as a you know, it's a I mean, it's a '72 Monte Carlo. It was a big old boat, much like this thing is. It's a big old boat. So, can you imagine getting one of these Cadillacs and putting a hot kiss suspension underneath of it, and putting uh, an LS? LS type engine in it to compensate for this car's weight for crying out loud because yeah this this thing is heavy so putting a supercharged LS engine on this would probably make it go better how's that I wouldn't make it go fast but it'd make it go better help getting it out of its way all right are we done with you almost um 88 percent what am I missing front rear license plate is that all I'm missing yeah that's all I'm missing um, all right so the movie was filmed in Nevada Reno Nevada so let's we'll pick our plates from Nevada Nevada uh, M N O P let me get my There we go, Nevada. Okay, so uh, pink caddy. There we go. We need two. All right, Gabriel. I hope you like it. Here we go with the pink Cadillac. We are going to go get through in the paint shop here in a minute to find finally put the final touches on this thing. Um, Sale price on this, okay. 117,000 miles, uh, 94 grand. So not a whole lot of money out of it. Did I get the interior? Yeah, I did. Okay, so now we're gonna move you over to the paint shop. Now this is gonna be a tricky pink. <laughs> I know it's a light red, right? So I'm gonna go bright with that brightness with that saturation is where I'm going to have to go or maybe is that pink enough it's not really a bright enough pink let me try that out Okay, let me shove this out into the garage because underneath these lights doesn't really give it much. See, out here it doesn't look pink, it almost looks peach. So let's put you back into the paint shop. Try to make it as pink as possible. Alright, so saturation. I went darker on it. I don't think darker is the key. Okay, I'm going to go 45 on it. How's that? Throw her out in the garage real quick. I don't know. That's pretty pink. I'm going to give it one more go. I'm going to lighten it up just a little bit more. Where are we at on this? This is at a 45. Let's go. Let's go 40. All right. Um, also, let's try something else. Um, if I went metallic, matte, 
pearl. Chameleon, no. Well, we'll try the pearl. Might give it a little bit more of a glistening effect. Let's go ahead and run a dino on her. Even though she's completely stocked, we do want to make sure that the uh, engine is uh, completed together. Yes, we do want to do a dino test. And I'm expecting to run to 226.309, so... Oh, we nailed the numbers to 26309. I wouldn't have expected any less or any more. All right, Gabriel, there is your pink Cadillac from the movie Pink Cadillac, Clint Eastwood and Burnett Preeters. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We've got this nice pink caddy going on. Completely stock. Probably one of my first movie cars that I've done completely stock. Everything else is done, you know, with all kinds of uh, gadgets on it and uh, yeah, that, that kind of come out pretty good with the pearl color I think it actually helped a little bit with the pink what do you guys think all right so there we have it pink Cadillac Clint Eastwood Burnett Peters I hope you enjoyed the episode please consider coming back watching some more please consider subscribing I'm so close to a thousand thank you all for your subscribers for all of you subscribing liking commenting let me know what you think Love you guys. Until next time, Mr. Hurst Quasar is saying goodnight, and I am out.